Hello friends, Zach Tremblay here. I am so excited to introduce you guys to the next Tremblay global artist, Michael Johnston. Michael, how's it going, buddy? It's going great. I'm so excited to be the next Tremblay global artist. <laughs> that's right, that's right. So, I mean, for everybody watching at home, just for a little background, Michael and I have known each other for uh, eight years now, which is pretty crazy to say out loud because I feel like eight it was... years? Isn't it longer? Eight years. <laughs> is it longer? I think it might be longer, actually. You know what? That's even scarier then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just, I'm excited to introduce Michael to you guys. He's been a dear friend for many years and he is currently uh, celebrating the success of a brand new single uh, that he just dropped a music video for. It is called Gravity. Uh, Michael, what can you tell us about Gravity? Okay, so Gravity started... I, I like to think that it started on an airplane, which is actually really funny because uh, my, my producer, um, Lepret, Aiden is his name, Aiden LaPrette. Uh, I met him on a plane on my way to shoot a TV series in Australia. And it was during COVID and we all had masks on and he was uh, set to play um, someone that was like related to me in the show. So it was really cool. We were meeting for the first time. And I, I think he asked me like, so, you know, other than acting, like, what do you, what do you do? What are your interests? And I'm like, oh, I, I love music and writing songs. And he's like, no way, I'm a producer. And we had that um, artist uh, back and forth of like, oh, we should work on a song together, which I feel like is tossed around so much. But I really didn't expect to actually immediately start working on a song, which we did because when we got to Australia, we we had to quarantine for two weeks without leaving the hotel room. So we got on a group chat and he sent me some tracks and I absolutely loved the, it was like an earlier version of just a quick little loop of the actual music in the song. And I started writing to it and sent him some lyrics and did a little bit of a, a voice memo recording on my phone. And then before we knew it, we, we had half of a song. And then I think months later, we finally met back up and finished recording the song. And yeah, it just turned out amazing. He's such a talented producer. Absolutely. Yeah. And that definitely shows in the final product of this song for sure. Now, when you're creating this song, do you feel like you can see the video in your head of what it could potentially be when you're storyboarding for, for the music video? For this song, I did. I would say that I imagined a uh, sort of outer space flying, falling in love, emotion, just feeling that really excited feeling of just like uh, having the butterflies for someone um, or just for yourself and believing in yourself. And I thought it would be really cool to do a video that was uh, very weird and quirky and like a space suit a space helmet, doing all this funny stuff. And I just, yeah, I had all these crazy ideas of what I wanted to do. And then I did a fundraiser to raise the money to shoot the music video and didn't quite raise as much as I'd hoped. So when it came down to booking all the locations and just all the props and visual effects and just all the different parts of producing a song, it started to look like, whoa, this is gonna be impossible. And then uh, at this time also, some of the crew members got COVID days before the shoot. So we had to keep right. pushing it and we lost some of our locations. And so even before we even started shooting, there was already money out the window. Uh, so ultimately we kind of just came up with this idea on the fly. The diner that you see in the video was available. It was in our budget. And so uh, I knew that we were going to this diner. I went there a couple days before and just thought, all right, uh, hmm. I know that the feeling of this song is like really emotional and passionate and falling in love. So I guess I could be working at the diner and somebody cute comes in and that's what I had to go on. And so that's kind of what we went with. And then just finding someone to be in the video. Um, I asked anyone that I could think of to do the video and uh, my friend Chris came up and I thought he would be perfect, but I was really hesitant to shoot a gay music video. Right. Uh, I think, I, I, I mean, I'm gay, obviously, if you haven't 
if you've seen the video and you didn't know that, then, well, now you know. That's okay. <laughs> now you know. Um, and uh, yeah, I was just really, I was really nervous to put myself out there like that. Um, and you know, it's like one, it's one thing to play uh, a gay role on film, and because you know, it's just a character. Um, but it's another thing to put myself out there as an artist. Not to say that everything that I'm going to do is going to be about um, sexuality, because right. definitely not. There are so many things I'd like to write about. But at the time, this song was about um, just believing in myself and loving myself and like what makes me feel that really great feeling of like falling in love. And it's it's not usually another girl it's usually a cute guy so i went with my gut and i did something that really scared me and i shot this music video really cute and wholesome with uh another cute boy and and that's also the reason why it took me so long to put the video out because i was <laughs> nervous and scared and not only that uh i told everyone i was gonna do a space outer space theme everyone who donated to the campaign and that is not what this video <laughs> was <laughs> I remember those conversations between you and me about what that music video was going to be. And then it just came, oh, became something totally different, which is amazing. Totally that's, different. That's the most beautiful part about being a creator is just sometimes things don't work out, but the outcome at the end is just something so beautiful. And that really marks a great song too, which leads into perception because the audience and, and people that are listening to this have the opportunity to take that and take that music video and take that song and, and put it into their own perspective of their own lives and it's it's really beautiful to see what you created and as a friend I'm super proud of you for doing that oh, um, thanks. but I mean uh, moving along I feel like you as an actor I mean that was like your your first and foremost when you were out in LA you were you were acting on yep. MTV through Teen Wolf and then um, you know just doing voiceover acting and everything like that so do you feel like being in in the world of acting and being an actor helped you with putting this video together as far as like the logistics of like, you know, creating scene by scene in the storyboarding and, and just the actual filming process. Do you think that had an advantage working on this video? Absolutely. Um, I think I felt comfortable in front of the camera, which is huge. And so at least that was one thing off my plate. My biggest anxiety being there on the day was just like, you know, is this going to even be good? And so I just leaned into my storyteller instincts. And, uh, you know, the actor in the video with me, Chris, he's also an actor. And so we were able to just create all these little scenes and uh, tell a very simple um story and right. yeah it just it worked in the video and it's really funny that it happened this way because i've had a, a lot of people say that they love the video because the visuals really line up to the emotion behind the lyrics and in the melody and the music and that i just makes me go like well yes like i'm really glad it worked and it actually was kind of a light bulb moment for me because I was stressing myself out with like, oh, I got to do this space theme and do this props and green screen and special effects and it's going to cost all this money and I was going to put all, a lot of my own money into, into the video. And um, at the end of the day, we didn't need all these crazy props and outer space theme and right. we just said, no, let's just strip it back and make it really simple and tell a story. And the other thing is if you listen to the song, um, the lyrics aren't specifically about a gay love story or even, you know, the lyrics aren't even really about love with another person. It's just love in general and that feeling of like, let me take you to the apogee, which an apogee is the furthest point away in an orbit. So an object that's orbiting something at the furthest point away. So that for me symbolized the feeling that you get when you're just like butterflies and just feeling yeah everything so um a love story was just one of those times in life that i imagined you would feel that way 
so yeah and it's really funny also that lyric app apogee because um <laughs> ai thinks it's applebee's or apple g <laughs> and there's a lot of confusion you know and i love it i think i think we should just go celebrate at applebee's now that's that's the moral of this story absolutely <laughs> I mean, that's what i really wanted to just take him out of that diner to an applebee's right Right. That's that's the real story here. Um, <laughs> that's the real story. Yeah. I mean, following the success of the video, I know you're excited to, to get back in the studio and start making more music and and telling more stories. What what would you say particularly you're most excited for about the future and your music? I am really excited to just make more music and shoot more videos. That's pretty much it. I have a ton of songs that I've written that I've just sort of been sitting on and I have a lot of pieces of songs with different producers and honestly this video and the success that it's had has um, given me this opportunity to um, take a bit of a risk and do more because it's difficult to make a living as a music artist. Yeah. I mean I'm only just getting started I mean, I have a couple songs out, but um, music has just been something that I've done in my free time because I love to sing and I love to write. But now I'm starting to think, man, like I could actually do this and go for this. And while, you know, my my love and my passion is first and foremost my acting career. Right. Um, if I'm doing cool music videos and telling a story and shooting little movies, well, then I'm still fulfilling that passion yeah. and I absolutely want to do or not. No, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm literally doing it right now. <laughs> it's awesome. It feels amazing. Yeah, it is absolutely amazing. And, and when I first created Tremblay Global, when I first dreamed this up, uh, the initial most important thing that I really wanted to focus on were artists that I was passionate about. And, and I'm really excited to go on this journey with you and, and your music and really just market your music in a way that is just really fun and, and really original. So uh, for all of you guys watching at home, go check out Michael's brand new music video for Gravity. Go stream the heck out of it right now. Yeah. And his Tremblay Global profile is coming very soon, so keep an eye out for that. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us today. There is much more on the way. Hey, I'm Michael Johnston, and if you want to hear more about me and my music, subscribe to Tremblay Media Group. I never thought it'd be true. I think I'm falling for you. You took my hand and we flew. Oh, we'll never be this few. I never thought it'd be true. I think I'm falling for you. You took my hand and we flew. Oh, we'll never be this few.